Today we're going to look at leaf patterns and use leaves to make prints. I went for a walk in my backyard a couple days ago and I just gathered all the interesting leaves that I could find. So some of them are really small and delicate. This is a fern. And some of them are really large. This is a magnolia leaf. We have a magnolia tree in our yard. And look at how the veins in the leaf make a pattern. We're gonna see if we can capture that pattern on our tiles. Um, I also have some maple leaves. They have beautiful veins that spread out from the center. This one's very spotted, I like that, but that's not gonna show up on our tiles. And then just looking at other smaller leaves, this one has uh, a really beautiful vein pattern on it and we'll see if we can transfer some of that to our tiles too. Let's get started. First I'm going to paint our backgrounds. I already have my boards scuffed and primed and ready to go and I'm just going to put the first layer down. We're going to work in with a red background today and I thought I would also um, do a lighter red, a tint of red. So while you're painting the background, you're just trying to be as smooth and neat as you can. You can go in both directions. And you'll probably need to do a couple of coats to get a nice, clean layer to start with. Now I'm also going to add a little bit of white to my paint for the next color. Time for a second coat. I'm going to start with some maple leaves. They have some really nice patterns you can see and what I'm going to paint on the back side of these, the bumpier side, um, because I think that pattern will show up a little bit better. So I've mixed up some paint that's just a little bit lighter than the paint that I painted my, my background tile. And I also have handy some paper that I'm going to use to just press things down. If you want, you can press these leaves um, under a book for a little while to get them a little bit flatter. Make sure they're nice and dry. And we'll cover as much of the leaf as we can. Now I'm going to place this. I'm going to place this one just kind of off to the side because I think we can put a few in here. And then I'll place a piece of paper over it and just. Press. We want to make sure that leaf doesn't move at all, but that we get all of the detail that we can onto the board. There's our first leaf print. Now I'm going to take some other leaves and try and fill up the space a little bit more. So let's try this one with a big magnolia leaf. Lots of great lines, lots of veins on the back. And this is going to be, a, it's bigger than we need, so I can just paint a part of it. This one is going to be really delicate. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. Let's try. This fern is starting to dry out a little bit. 
Um, it has very delicate leaves. So I'm going to take a little bit smaller brush and just kind of carefully dab it on. There's some great detail here, so I hope we get to see some of that. This tile is a little bit lighter, so I've picked a darker red so it will stand out still. It's nice to have different values. 